Hey lovelies, Jenna and Caitlin here with Fleur and B's Beauty in Pajamas. And today we are going to talk about some common skincare mistakes that we are all guilty of. Don't you worry, because we're gonna give you some tips on how to break those habits and replace them with better ones. All right, let's get right to it and talk about the first common skincare mistake that a lot of people are guilty of, and it's using low quality products. Now when we say low quality, we don't necessarily mean less expensive. What we mean are products that use a lot of cheap chemical ingredients. Because what you put on your skin gets absorbed through your pores, it can potentially get into your bloodstream. So if you use products that have a lot of cheap chemicals, it can be really bad for you. So it's best to stick with mostly natural ingredients and avoid super toxic ingredients like parabens, sulfates, and artificial fragrance. So Caitlin and I actually made a super fun video about these ingredients that you should avoid. So maybe just check that out and then you can reference it whenever you are choosing the products that you're gonna buy. So the second mistake that a lot of people make is picking at your skin. I, for one, am super guilty of this. I admit I had terrible skin as a teenager, like awful, disgusting, embarrassing skin. And I, my solution was to pick at it because you like, you want to do something to make it go away. But the problem is, is that just makes it worse. It leads to scarring, which I have on my face because I picked at it. It also can lead to infection because dirt and bacteria gets like shoved back into your skin. Not good for you, not pretty, not great. So the best thing to do if you have a zit is to just use a spot treatment and let it do its thing and don't touch your face. Hands away. So the third common mistake is actually overdoing it with your products. On the opposite, I underdo it with my products and I tend not to wash my face as often as I should, but it turns out you can actually wash your face too much. And when that happens, if you're cleansing too much, your skin be can become dry and irritated. If you're exfoliating too much, really bad idea, because that can be super harsh on your skin. So you just wanna keep it simple, wash your face twice a day. You don't even have to use cleansers both times. You can wash your face with water in the morning, cleanser at night, and then also just make sure you're using a basic lineup of products. <coughs> like Flora and B. <coughs> Ooh, hairball, sorry. So the fourth common skincare mistake that people are making, and by people, I obviously mean myself also, really guilty of this, going to bed with your makeup on. Even if you don't wear makeup, bacteria and dirt and other pollutants build up on the surface of your skin. So it's really important to wash them away at the end of the day because it can lead to blemishes yeah. and other like nasty stuff on your face. So wash it off with a gentle cleanser. You'll be good to go. And lastly is not drinking enough water. I feel like we tell this to you guys all the time, you need to drink enough water. And that's because your skin is actually made up of 64% water. So if you are not properly hydrating, you are dehydrated, your skin is suffering. So you should be drinking about eight, eight ounce glasses per day, which is about a half gallon. I probably drink about a gallon. I love drinking water. I drink it all day long. It's a great tip, Jenna. Guilty of not doing that too, or of doing that, of not. I don't drink enough water. But it's okay, because we're here to talk about how to build better habits. And experts say that it can take 18 to 250 days to build new habits, which sounds daunting, but I think the best thing for all of us, myself included, is to just get started right now. Definitely. And one habit that I have picked up been doing it basically ever since I had a phone, is setting an alarm for myself. And I do things, you know, daily I have my alarm set to take my pill. It could be if I have a doctor's appointment, I always put an alarm in there right away. Um, people's birthdays, you know, all of these things. So as I mentioned, I'm not always washing my face as much as I should, especially at night, especially on the weekends. So sometimes Saturday, Sunday, even Friday, I'll set an alarm for myself, put a cute Disney song, Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase, yeah. It's just a cute little reminder to say, you need to wash your face. That's a great tip. I also have a very poor memory. Uh, so I set alarms for myself too. And I like to make them fun and like, just like cute for myself. I just like, I put notes in there like, wash your face, you gorgeous goddess. And I'm like, I am gorgeous goddess. I will get up and go wash my face. Another thing you could do is use apps like Haveable or Quit That to build a better habit. So there you guys have it. Those are some five common skincare habits. 
and some fun little tips for you to break those habits. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more, please subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of amazing videos out there. You can also head to our website, florandbee.com. Check out our products. If you're interested in buying anything, just be sure to use code YouTube at checkout for 25% off. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>